Okay, ready? Is that today's date now? Uh, 16 January 2016. Okay, this is uh, now. This Shetland, uh, 13 years old, male, not neutered, has the back head tilt. And uh, that was on 2nd of January, today is 16, so two weeks ago. But it has this problem for one for two months and it was treated by one vet. Now, this right head tilt is normally a sign of the middle of the inner ear infection or tumour because it's an old dog. Now we, we look for nystagmus. Nystagmus means the eye, of course now he's, he's an anesthetized, but there's no nystagmus rolling of the eyelids. Now this ear is very dirty as you can see. So we use the otoscope. Now there are two types of otoscope. One type is is uh, attached to the monitor to to go deep in. This is the common type otoscope where you see any polyps or any tumors or infection inside the ear. Now the dog had been on antibiotics and steroids for the last two weeks and owner reported a much improved improvement in the in the appetite and also not so off balance. Now the thing is uh, the thing is the owner complained that every day there is some yellow discharge coming up and uh, just now I palpated the ear which was very painful. Now you can see it's actually very dirty there, all the parts inside. So we did an x-ray as well. And so now I'm doing the ear irrigation, which I did last time. The last time I did was, uh, the dog was, the dog was uh, not having so much discharge as now, Ye yellowish discharge. So the anesthesia is 3%, the 3 and the flow rate, isoflurane. Because it's an old dog, 13 years old, so now I'm going to do ear irrigation at the company site. The intern Clara will just see how video the ear irrigation. But before I do that, you can still see that there's definitely thick parts coming out. So this could be otitis media, the thick parts. And the uh, palpation here was very painful earlier on, but now it's not painful because of the anesthesia. Okay, now I'm going to do irrigation. And uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, wax coming out, pass coming out. Yeah. So instead of the owner cleaning every day, so I try to clear the the ear canal of the infection by irrigation. Now the two weeks ago I did the irrigation of the ear under anesthetic and uh, and uh, there was blood inside, pure blood, but no pus. But this time, hopefully the cotton bud, cotton bud so. This time there's a lot of uh, pus, dried pus. Now there are more, there are more uh, detailed investigations like MRI or even uh, otoscope under the under the a more detailed otoscopic examination where you can see see that the ear canal in the morning term, but uh, these are more detailed examination and uh, the owner is not. Not, not uh, keen on spending money, too much money on uh, more detailed MRI. MRI can cost a few thousand dollars in Singapore. So now I'm doing the irrigation. I'm trying to clear, clear away all the, all the infections of the middle ear and uh, outer ear. Well, this, this condition in old dog is, is quite common, the cause is unknown, it's not idiopathic, 
That means unknown cause. And uh, some, some of the vets call it the old vestibular disease. Old vestibular disease. And uh, usually due to inflammation. The ear has been infected. Now I put it quite deep in, as you can see, this is up to the end of the vertical canal. But the canal is quite long. So there's no more uh, infection, no more pus. Compared to the last time, last time there was blood coming out. And uh, so the treatment for the first first uh, first time is just ear irrigation, good antibiotics, steroids, and uh, it, if it's not the very badly infected middle ear or inner ear or any tumors or polyps, then uh, dogs will recover. Eh? The, although the head tumor might still be there, recover in the sense that appetite comes back and the balance the balance is not so uh, not so off balance. Eh? It will still be head tilted. Now this dog after treatment the last time two weeks ago, the dog has uh, shown much, much improvement. And so so the owner is uh, coming back for for the daily ear discharge. Now I very strange the ears. These are all the all the parts you can see here there. And uh, now how about the right this year? No, I mean we have to do this year as well. I don't, there's nothing wrong this year. Okay, we go that side. We just changed the so left ear. Left ear, there's nothing wrong, but uh, we just uh, come go inside. Just switch the left ear. So there should be no pass coming out. There should be no pass coming out. And uh, you can see it's quite clean, huh? Before I do anything, you can see compared to the other ear, and there's no complaint from the owner. So I'm just trying to. To clear anything there, there's nothing. No, uh, not even a bit of pass. Normally I do five times. I find this quite effective in uh, clearing all the dirt, the debris. Go it at 45 degrees. Then my side, the, the canal, okay, not 45 degrees. Okay, so you can see compared to the other ear, nothing, no, not even a bit of dirt. Come here and then I put the cotton bud in. Now, cotton bud goes until the horizontal canal only. It doesn't go into the middle ear. No, it goes in the vertical canal, it doesn't go into the horizontal canal. So this is the, the depth of the vertical canal. Okay, now we go this side first. Right. And, uh, I will have a quick check again. You see, this one, this one is clean. This, this is the right ear now. Oh, it's quite deep in. But, but there's no more blood as last time. So we hope that the uh, infection is cleared. Then the last time I did the dental scaling as well. And as you can see, the dog probably has better appetite because the teeth has been uh, cleaned up. Okay, thanks, finish. So